As a member of the Synod, you have the privilege of being a voice for your parish to speak into, on behalf of your community, the life of the Anglican Diocese of Adelaide. This brings us to the topic of debate. There are a few guidelines that help facilitate debate at Synod. Like, typically, members moving a motion are allowed to speak no longer than seven minutes. The limit is four minutes for members contributing to the debate. Members must address the chair when speaking, shall stand when speaking, and are entitled to be heard in silence. Members are usually only given one chance to speak on any given motion or amendment, so it's important that you be as clear and concise as possible in the first instance. Of course, this is all very nuanced, and you can learn more about debate in part five of the Standing Orders Ordinance. One really important thing to keep in mind is to debate in a way that honours God. G.K. Chesterton once remarked that the bad thing about a quarrel is that it spoils a good argument. Remember, Synod exists to ensure the good governance of our church, and the Anglican Diocese of Adelaide represents a broad range of views and opinions. While we won't always see eye to eye, we should strive to maintain our respect for one another, inspired by the words of the Apostle Paul, who wrote in his letter to the Ephesians, Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head, that is Christ. Thank you.